So, this is uh, Alex Chu coming at you with uh, another episode. This episode, I want to talk about uh, pedophilia, about my experience with uh, Dateline uh, pet pet pedophile stuff, okay? I'm not. But uh, before I talk about that, I want to tell you my name is Alex Chu. I'm the guy who invented physical mortality rings. These are rings that you put on your small fingers, string sleepy, you wear them, you don't age anymore, you become physically Im uh, immortal. For example, I'm already 50. I still look pretty young, right? See, if I shave, I don't need to have a beard. You know why these, a lot of 50-year-old men, they they, they uh, grow a little bit of beard. You know why? It's because they want to cover up their, they want to cover up their puffy faces, right? I don't need that. See, I don't I don't have a puffy face. See, my face is still pretty thin, right? If you look at my belly, it's still really, really smooth and thin. 28-inch waist, ever since I was 19 years old. It's been like this for 30-some years. Never changed. If you go to uh, my website, livemuchlonger.com, I have lots of testimonials from Amazon customers. Most of them give me four stars or five stars, okay? So if you want to stay physically young forever, you want to look like me when you're 50, livemuchlonger.com, livemuchlonger.com, link is at the bottom of this video, okay? Um, you see, I, I know people were wondering, how come you used to talk about politics? How come now you're talking about pedophiles and incest porn and all that shit, you know? It's just that, I guess because Biden is just way too boring, you know? See, when Trump was the president, oh, I talk about politics all the way, you know? But now Trump is not in the White House anymore, and Biden is just so boring, you know. Biden and in in his little Camilla Harris, they are so boring. They don't do anything. They just open up the border, and now Biden is talking about, oh, we have to let you know, we we should not check IDs when they when they when when we have an election when they go to the voting booths, no IDs. Ah, so f fuck that. I don't want to talk about him anymore. So let's so let's talk about. Touchy subjects, you know, I can gain more clicks, you know, by talking about pedophiles and incest porn, all sorts of weird shit, you know, people like to hear weird things, right? You know, recently, uh, that guy, uh, uh, Chris Hansen from Dayline NBC, uh, he, he was, uh, the police was looking for him, you know, they had a warrant for his arrest, just like, what, a week ago or something. And then he turned himself in, but he he later declared that it was not a big deal. They were just they were uh, he he was late. I mean, he didn't show up at the court because of misunderstanding. He is supposed he is supposed to submit like evidence against some uh, pedophiles that uh, they had a sting operation of three pedophiles in in the past, and he is supposed to submit evidence. That's so it's not a big deal. But thinking about Chris Hansen, I tell you, man, hey, you know what? I actually met that guy before, you know, I actually met Chris Hansen. It was on a reality TV show, okay? What happened is, you know, I, they told me to, uh, I drove a long way to that, to that reality TV show. They told me to, you know, take off my clothes, become naked, and I have to walk into the, walk into the building and then, uh, to, to you know, but I was supposed to meet a girl, but then, you know, suddenly Chris Hansen showed up, told me to just sit right there, sit, told me to sit down. You know, nah, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm just joking. No, I, I never met him before. I never met uh, Chris Hansen. But today's subject, I want to talk about Dayline, Dayline NBC, you know, uh, to catch a predator, right? Um, yeah, but but you know what? They try to contact me, though. They try to contact. They try to lure me to that sting. They try once, okay? What happened is, you, you know, back in the days, okay, um, I was sort of on TV, sort of halfway on TV. I was working with Martin Sargent. He used to host a show called Unscrewed, you know, Unscrewed, uh, on Tech TV. You know, it was a small TV station. Nowadays, uh, these all these small TV stations, they, they went bankrupt because of Internet, because of YouTube, you know, because of Facebook. Now Nowadays, nobody watched those small cable TVs, you know. But back in the days, you know, there's like, there's a small cable uh, TV network called Tech TV, you know, and Martin Sargent was a, a host uh, on that on the uh, on that uh, TV channel, you know, called Unscrewed, and I was working with him. Uh, I appeared on his show several times. I don't know, seven or eight times or something. He and I, we pretty good. We 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 buddies, you know. 
And um, but, but you you want to say he he's like his show is supposed to be like funny, you know. It has to be funny, you know. It, it's supposed to make people laugh. And I understand if if I'm funnier, I would appear on the show more. You understand? If I'm funnier, he would uh, invite me to a show a lot more. And I was also being interviewed by other like radio stations and shit. You know, um, I, I I was I was also on several different small TV shows, and so I try to be funny, right? And I don't know. It's like I saw that uh, Jay Leno's uh, Jay Leno's uh, show. You know, the t Tonight Show. He had like few people. For example, I think his name is Gary Gilroy, right? You know the guy who Affleck. You know the guy who talk like, "Hey, hello, Jay." You know that guy. He has this weird voice, and then he also had another psychic. Uh, Jay Leno had another comedian that goes on the show from time to time. He's always drinking. He's like an alcoholic. He's always holding a bottle or a shot glass. He's always drinking. You know that's his gig, right? Right, and then I was thinking, oh, I should get a gig too. So I, my gig is like, hey, you know what? I, I really like Disney Channel's uh, Lizzie McGuire show, you know, or these. I like kids show back in the days. So I just like kids show too. I think it's because I'm Asian, you know. Uh, you know, American adult shows they are too sexually oriented. I don't like that. I'm I'm Asian, you know. See, I grew up. I didn't grow up in this country. I grew up in Taiwan, you know. So I I don't like American sexual stuff, you know. So I like Kiss Joe. So I was thinking, hey, maybe I could, I don't know, because I was li watching Lizzie McGuire when I was 30 years old, you know. So I was thinking, maybe I should tell people I'm a pedophile, you know. Just, this is like a gig, you understand? It's not, it's not like, it's not serious. I'm not a real pedophile. I should tell people I'm a pedophile. It's just a gig, you know, just for laughs, you know. It's like a comedian's gig, you know. So on um, Martin Sargent's show, <clears throat> many of his episodes, I, I, I was making pedophile jokes, you know, I said, oh, I like that girl because she looks, you know, I like, I like that girl, she's 18, but she looks 13, you know, stuff like that, it was just, it was just trying to, try to portray myself as a pedophile, it was just, just a joke, you know, but you know what, the, the people, the try to catch a predator people, right, they took me seriously, man, the, I mean, the, Chris Hansen was working with this, uh, perverted justice group, you know, and they took me seriously. They thought I'm a real pedophile. So around that time, around Dayline NBC was was going to premiere their try a uh, catch a creditor show, right? I kept getting calls from little girls, man. I mean it was like one year before the show aired, you know, before they t introduced it on um, NBC. One one year exactly one year before the show aired, I start getting calls every night, every day, from little girls. You know, like, and then the, the little girl always say, "Oh, I'm 13 year old. I'm 13." And she got friends. She has a friend with her. It's like two girls on the phone talking to me. They call me like five, five, six times a day, man. They call me like two o'clock in the uh, early in the morning. I'm that like two o'clock in the midnight, right? They wake me up from my bed. That time, see. Um, most people they don't use email to uh, place order. They don't. They back in the days they, there's no PayPal. You know, uh, no. There actually there were PayPal, but back in the days I was using credit card merchant account. So most of the uh, most of the orders are either from online and through a uh, telephone. I have to take down credit card numbers. Back in the days it was like that. You know, so I I I have to have my phone right now. I don't really I don't speak on the phone anymore. People just place order online. But back in the days I have to speak on the phone every day. You know, and then. They kept calling me, man. They they use block numbers, so I can't I can't I cannot really see who's calling. And they would call me. I pick up a phone, and it would be the little girl, thirteen year old. And this funny thing is, they always say they're thirteen, always thirteen year old, always thirteen year old. And I'm very smart about it. I, I just I just felt that there's something wrong, you know. I mean, and they they call me first of all. I'm Asian. I'm an Asian man, right? And the girl is obviously a white girl, right? And she said. Oh, I saw your photo online. You're so handsome. I'm thinking, what's the chance of a white girl, you know, white little girl falling in love with an Asian man? That's, just, that's very rare. Very, very rare, you know. Especially she knows who I am. I'm 30 year old. I mean, what's the chance of a 13-year-old 13, 13 girl, you know, white girl falling in love, uh, liking an, uh, a 30-year-old Asian man? It's just very rare. So I'm like, oh, okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for your, your you know. Uh, compliment, right? And then, and then she, and then it's just that the phone won't stop. And then they, they, you know what they want? They want, oh, I want you to, 
why don't you why don't we uh why don't you go online sex chat you know let's 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 go to a chat room i want you to i want you to you know sex chat with me and i i say oh no you know chat rooms are for kids i don't do that stuff and then she's like how about some phone sex i, I want phone sex right now i'm like i'm you know i say aren't you like a little young like you're 13 year old aren't you a little young for phone sex it's like I keep on giving them the runaround, you know? Like, I don't fall for it. I keep on giving them the runaround. And then, I mean, but hey, you know what? I'm, hey, you know what? I'm, I'm a lonely guy, so I, I'm, you know, it's it's kind of entertaining to talk to a little girl on the phone, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it doesn't, I don't care if she's little or, or older. It's just sort of entertaining to talk to a girl on the phone, right? So I'm like, okay, I keep talking. But then I'm very careful, though, you know? I don't, I don't, um... It's like she kept on asking for sex chats or phone sex and shit like that. I never fall for it, you know. I'm just like talking on the phone, just joking around, you know. And then, um, and then I, I would, I would, uh, I would tease her. I would say, "Hey, you know, listen, do you you wanna you wanna know something personal? Can, can I ask you? Oh, no, I said, can I ask you something personal?" And she's like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah!" Immediately, you know, you can you can see her tone change. And I would say, "How would you like to live forever?" <laughs> then I said, "I start to sell my rings." And I said, "Oh, don't you want to live forever? You, you want to put on your rings? And you, hey, why don't you call your mom right now? Tell your mom to you know give you credit card numbers so she, you can buy a pair of rings." That <laughs> was so funny. I, but then they won't stop. It's like for a whole year. Can you imagine whole year every day, every day? Call me at least five, six times. I'm not joking. I told people that. Nobody believed me. These people call me five, six times a day, man. I mean, sometimes two o'clock at, at night, two o'clock in the morning, man, just to wake me up. These people are shady people, man. The, the perverted justice. They're doing this. They're, they, are, they are doing all this. They hire young girls, right? They're not real 13-year-olds, you know. I, I thought at, at that time, I thought it's, it's a bunch of, uh, I really thought it was a 13-year-old girl calling me because she sounds so young. Well, maybe, you know, they have voice changers, right? I thought it was just teenagers trying to trying to blackmail me, you know? I, I know they want to lure me to some sex chat or to uh, sex chat or uh, phone sex or something. And if I start asking her personal questions like, oh... Have you ever had sex? Or, you know, personal question. If I, if I start asking that, then, you know what? I'm on the hook. You know what I'm saying? They got me, you know? Then I could be I could be listed as a pedophile. They got me, you know? You understand? I never fell for that. I, I never say and use the word like, oh, baby, or darling. I never ever... I, I'm, I'm very careful. I never use that. I would never say anything erotic. I would never ask her... Oh, what, what, you know, like, what's the size of your, your, you know, your breast? Never, ever. I, I'm, I was very careful, you know. And then they sort of ran out of idea. They sort of ran out of option. And then guess what? They thought I'm gay. They, they, they started thinking, oh, maybe this, this, this Alex Chu guy, he's not interested in little girls, but then he called himself a pedophile. Maybe he's gay. You know what? And then they changed tactic. And then, and then suddenly I get young boys calling me. Young boys boys like oh hey uh you know hey alex yeah i'm i'm again the boy is like what four, 13 or 14 i think the boy said he's 14 uh boy uh, alex yeah i'm 14 year old kid and stuff like that and talk to me yeah sounds like a sounds like a young boy you know talking to me you know uh, but but then it's like they don't they don't talk about my rings they just talk they want to talk about you know again they want to lure me to some chat room about sex chat or phone sex or something you know that's that's sh that i see red flags you know because usually young boys usually young boys call me like high school kids call me they usually just want to ridicule me they want to talk shit about my rings they want to insult me they want to say stuff like your your inventions don't work you're a crazy person you know you're a nut job you know go back to china and stuff like that they would insult me you know they would argue with me about my invention but then these boys they don't they don't care about my invention it's like they, they know who i am they know that i'm selling they know alexchu.com but then they don't want to argue about my invention it's like they jump into the sex sex thing right away like oh i want you uh come to a sex chat or phone sex or something i'm like i'm like dude i'm like dude you think i'm michael jackson and shit you think i'm michael jackson what's wrong with you and then, and then they realize, oh, Alex Chu is not gay. He's not gay. 
and then they change tactic and then again they they it's like always young boys call uh, calling me right young boys hello and then the, the young boy will say hey my sister want to speak to you and then they switch to the girls again and then the girls like again she's 13 year old i'm like what the fuck and they they do this every day man it's like they do this like Hey, sometimes 10 times, they call me 10 times a day. I told people that. Nobody believed me. These motherfuckers, they are so persistent. Sometimes they call me 10 times a day, you know, just to get me hooked, you know. It, later on, I heard that uh, uh, they, they like NBC pay a perverted justice like $100,000 per episode or something. Or is it per sting operation? Yeah, maybe $100,000 per episode, you know. So they get paid lots of money. So... They want people like me on the show, you know, because that time I was a little uh, sort of notorious. I was sort of famous. I was on different TV shows. You understand? They try to get me and then they switch tactic. And so it's a young boy calling me, 14 year old young boy calling me. Hey, Alex, uh, my sister want to speak to you. And then immediately switch to girls again. I, I, I must admit, I enjoy speaking to the girls a little more because I'm not gay. You understand? Speaking to boys is sort of weird, you know, but and they, but then at the end, I, I just got tired of it, you know, and at the end, I started to hang, hang them up. I start to hang up, you know, because I'm like, I'm like, dude, what the fuck? It's like, hey, I don't care if you're a little girl or a little boy, you know, you want to buy my shit or not? You, you Don't you want to buy my rings? You don't want to buy my rings? Then, you know, leave me the fuck alone. Why, why are you guys calling me? They call me like fucking, you know, five, six times a day, man. Wake me up at, at night, you know, two o'clock, I was sleeping and shit, but but then, and suddenly, guess what? They stopped calling, right? And then guess what? Wow. I saw Daylight NBC, Catch a Predator. It aired. And it was a hit. Everybody's watching that show. Everybody was watching that show, man. When, when I saw that shit air, I'm like, oh, so this is what it's all about. Oh, I see. They've been calling me for one whole year. It, it's about this. It's about this, this Catch a Predator thing. Oh. So now you guys know exactly what these people went through. You know, these people, I'm telling you, man, NBC, they catch a predator. They are shady people. You know, they, they target the lonely one, lonely men. You know, they target lonely men, men like me, you know, lonely. And, and, and well, they target me because they thought I'm a pedophile because I was using that in, in my gig. You know, it's, I mean, I, I try to be a comedian. I try to try to sell my rings, you know, as a comedian, try to be funny, and then they, they thought I'm a real pedophile. But then, I don't know how they catch these other men, you know, these other men are, you know, obviously they're real pedophile, you know, but I bet you, man, they, they these men, I bet you, they these little girls or little boys, they contact these men, like, day and night, I bet you, email them, giving, giving them a phone call, you know, and, and then try to lure them into, if they said something, I bet you it's like that. If if you if I said something like "Oh baby," "Oh darling," or um, "Have you ever had sex?" or something, if I if I guarantee you, if I said something like that, I was hooked. And then they're gonna use that against me. They're gonna use that to blackmail me. They're gonna I if if I stop, you know, like stop answering their phone call. The next phone call would would say, "Oh, you know, you, uh, Mr. Chu, um, you you uh, you asked me what is my breast size." You know, I think I'm gonna tell my mom. You know, I think I'm gonna tell my mom what you said because that's inappropriate. I guarantee it was like that, man. Then I would say, no, 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 no. Please don't tell your mom. Please don't tell your mom. And then she said, she would say, okay, if okay, I'm not gonna tell my mom, but I want you to come to a sex chat. I want I want you to you know come to the sex chat room with me and do a little sex chat or something because I'm horny. Yeah, I guarantee it was like that, man. And then I I, I don't have any other choice. I have to go go do the sex chat, you know, and then, then it get, get me more and more in trouble. One person died from this, man. One, uh, he was like a, a prosecutor in Texas, right? And uh, I think that's what happened to him. He, so some little boy called him, right? Like a 14-year-old boy called him. And then he fell for it, you know? I, I bet you he he's asked the little boy, like, oh, what's, this, what's your penis size or something? Or have you ever had sex or something? And then he just, you, you understand? It's just that... But then one day he hang up the phone. He he also became very suspicious. He hang up the phone, and guess what? They still came after him. The police surrounded his house, and then he just shot himself. He shot himself in the mouth. He killed. He committed suicide. It, yeah, and, and then of course uh, his sister sued Daylight NBC for like hundred million dollars. 
But I was lucky, man. I'm, I was lucky because I already I felt that the, it's, something is not right, you know. I felt the... I, at first, I thought these teenagers are trying to blackmail me, you know. Because I'm doing business online, right? They, I, I thought it was teenagers trying to blackmail me for money or... Or just trying to get me in trouble, you know, or there, there, there's just some sort of prank trying to get me in trouble, you know. I that's what I thought, but now I realize, oh, it's daylight NBC catching how to catch a predator, you know. They they never got me, and it, guess what? They they call me for one whole year, five times a day. Okay, they never got me at the end. Uh, I told people that nobody believed me. They said, oh, come on, how how can they call you ten times a day or five times a day? But it's true. It was true, man. Those motherfuckers, they bother me for five, you know, they bother me for a whole year, man. Shit, if I have evidence, man, I'm going to sue them, man. I'm going to sue them for a million dollars, man. I, my whole year, they, they bother me like that. But, uh, yeah, this episode, that's all I want to... Sorry. That's all I want to talk about. If you like my uh, channel, please subscribe. Talk to you later.